Boba Fett is an outrage. Braba, mm hmm. Right, Baby Yoda, no more Boba, mm hmm. Ah, uh, yes, friends, it is your main man Z here, and I just finished all of the Boba Fetts. And have we got a story for you? That's right. Um, Boba Fett, Book of Boba Fett, second piece of the Star Wars legacy that's going on on Disney Plus, and we have Baby Yoda's hiding. I mean, the <laughs> the show literally insulted itself. There's a part in the show where they, the, the lady picks up Grogu and says, Your name's Grogu? What a terrible name! I'm not calling you that! Exactly. I'm not calling him that. I'm only calling him Baby Yoda from now on. If you like what we hear, uh, what we do here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, please like, subscribe. Uh, we did really appreciate it. So would Baby Yoda. I know I do a lot of ranting about Boba Fett and some of the shows here, but... I think this one is uh, is pretty valid. Robert Rodriguez. You may know him from such movies as Desperado, Spy Kids, and Sin City. Did this dude forget how to direct? Bro, what are you doing? Every single fight scene was in like slow motion. The giant Wookiee that's supposed to be attacking people. By the way, spoilers for Episode 7, Book of Boba Fett. Every single freaking fight scene was like slow motion. Like everybody was moving in concrete. You're supposed to see this massive Wookiee ripping people apart. Slow motion. The Rancor moved faster than the Wookiee. Like what are we talking about? So let's go through it a little bit. And we'll talk about what's on everybody's mind. Which is what in the world happened with Book of Boba Fett. First of all, it's not the Book of Boba Fett. It's, it's the Book of Mandalorian Season 2.5, which you may have seen in one of my other previous rants here. We leave off with uh, Boba Fett being prepared for war. He's partnered up, you know, Fennec Shand. He's got the little Robo Kids, whatever you want to call it, the Mod Kids. He's got uh, Chrysanthemum, the big giant Wookiee. He's got... Uh, He's got the Mandalorian, and they're all preparing for wh what are they going to do. And uh, they make the stupidest plan you could possibly ever have. They're going to protect each quadrant so they can't be ambushed. So that means they all individually go to different areas to protect it. <laughs> of course, they get overrun immediately. Completely useless. Um, <laughs> I, I just like this whole thing was just nonsensical. No uh, decisions only happen because the plot had to happen. So they 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 beat back their 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 uh, the 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 syndicate or whoever they are. Sorry if I'm incoherent on this because this thing was redonkulous. So they beat back the syndicate and um, a bunch of nonsense happens. They bring in the uh, Freetown people come in, and then the droids droids show up. I thought droids were a thing in the past. I guess they're not. They're really pushing hard on the old prequels. I don't know why, but they are. It's a thing. Baby Yoda shows up, does some things. Boba Fett <laughs> decides to pull out his rancor because he needs backup. Why you wouldn't start with that, I don't know. How do you have time to go back? I mean, I know he has a jetpack. Don't get me wrong, but this whole thing was just terrible. But and as they say here, thank you, Den of Geek. And uh, Boba Fett ends with some ambiguous, anticlimactic character beats. If you want to have a character arc, what character arc exactly did anyone have in this show? Normally, when you're writing a script, you have characters like, you know, they start in one place. They start in A. B happens to them. They have some sort of internal struggle. They have to overcome something. Boba Fett shows up, declares himself the Diomo, whatever he is, of uh, Mos Espa, and then uh, remains Domo of Mos Espa, runs into a couple hiccups, and fixes everything. And instead of being a cold-blooded killer, he's just a... Uh, He's an overall nice guy. He's the new 
If you're gonna be the mayor, bro, just run for mayor. Like, what are you doing? You're not a crime. Like, this is... I, I thought maybe the show would turn into, like, I don't know, a thing about crime bosses or something. Or, like, a more mafiosa-type thing. No, you end up getting G Boba Fett with the heart of gold. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Ay, 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 ay. There was even a strong woman moment, which netted absolutely nothing it didn't do anything they didn't accomplish anything all they did was stall for a few seconds before the rancor came there's so much wrong with here <laughs> it's just, yeah i mean i couldn't agree more with the assessment here where they they're saying the the episode sacrifices characterization for a disorganized toothless plot First of all, no one told us. I didn't know this. Maybe there's something wrong with me, but I didn't know that Spice was like a drug. As far as I knew, Spice was something that Han used to... So you're telling me Han Solo was a drug dealer. He was a drug smuggler. It wasn't smuggling like good stuff. Like, I don't know, like medical supplies. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Is a gun runner better than a drug dealer? I don't know. But when he makes his... Uh, par his nine parsec, 12 parsec jump through the Kessel run. When he does the Kessel run and however many parsecs it takes, he he was running spice. And he, that, so he's a drug dealer. Okay. Thanks for letting me know this. I did not know that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it, uh, the whole show, it just. It also, I don't understand. Why does this mean, like, is are they trying to explain the new sequel why luke is like pissed he gets a, a super cool powerful partner like baby yoda and it's like pfft, he could choose between me or he can't have both can't have both he can't have the mandalorian and he can't have uh jedi training right no luke has his sister whom he loves very dearly pretty sure he didn't give her up Attachments don't necessarily, you know, he was going to make a new Jedi Order. The old Jedi Order was flawed and corrupted and, and a bunch of idiots. Couldn't even see Darth Vader sitting right in front of them. You would think Luke would learn from those experiences and make a new Jedi Order where he's not so worried about attachments and things like, nah, we're going to skip all that. And the dialogue, oh my gosh, the dialogue, just brutal. He... At some point, Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, says, He wore the shirt. He, he, he's wearing the shirt. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I And when I, I, I feel like... I don't, The dark saber was unimpressive. It, it, the one thing that really irritated me about a lot of it is there's a lot of people watching... I hate in movies and TV shows where people are watching what other people do. So not only is the action in like slow motion, not even slow mo, just like slow and dull, but you had this part where the Rancor is getting its butt kicked by the droid. And there's literally, I don't know, 20 people with blasters and they're all just standing there watching it. There's a part, there, there's so many parts where if you just watch what's going on and you're like, why is this other person not reacting to this? They're just sitting there doing nothing. It's really stupid. Um, the other thing that's really stupid, you finally get a good villain. Maybe not a good, he's an interesting villain, right? I don't know anything about him from the Clone Wars. Don't know anything. All I know is people seem to like him. He seems pretty menacing. An interesting new villain. And, you know, somebody to replace Moff Gideon for a little bit, right? And you kill him. What is this, a Marvel movie? We're going to kill off all the good villains? Let's just kill them all off. And uh, we'll never bring them back again. What's the point of that? Why bother? Let's just kill them off. So Boba Fett finally gets, like, brutal. And instead of sparing... Maybe if he spared him, you'd see some character development, right? He spared Chrysanthemum or whatever that guy's name is. The big Wookiee dude. No, instead, he kills Cad. Or leaves him for dead. I don't know. Whatever, man. Oh, apparently, I don't know. They're telling us that, uh, I don't know. If, if he's dead, if he's alive, you find out, like, it, it's so, it doesn't matter. There's this whole part where, 
Boba Fett it didn't know that his Tuscan family was murdered by he thought he was mur they were murdered by the motorcycle gang but they were really murdered by the syndicate whatever it doesn't matter he's still mad that it's killing somebody you know stupid there was even a part where it was almost uh the rankers climbing the buildings so it was like King Kong also stupid all of it is just ridiculous uh, D Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, still runs around like a doofus. He keeps tripping over himself, and he's lucky as his armor on because he'd be dead 89 times over and over and over again. And then, he, you know, it's like, how many more times is Baby Yoda going to leave and then come back and leave and come? Like, come on, man. I guess they realize they can't have the Mandalorian without Baby Yoda. Like, the show just doesn't exist. Redonkulous. Um... Uh, Grogu puts the ranker to sleep. Sure, that's all right. Whatever, man. I just, I, I don't know. I like Tamora Morrison. I agree with him. There was an interview where he said that he was talking too much as Boba Fett. I 100% agree with that. I think he should have had more of a character arc. I do like Fennec Shand, but I, they're too old. The two leads are too old, and it's you can see it in their body movement. She's not graceful. She's clunking around in this giant outfit. God forbid you realize that she's a woman, you know? Um, what else was there that was incredibly stupid? I mean, there's just, like, no emotional anchor to this show. Like, at least in the Baby Yoda show, The Mandalorian, there was some sort of, like, emotional connection. This, I had nothing. I was just like, what am I watching here? What is all of this nonsense? It was, like, just all action, poorly directed. There were some cool moments... And then in the final credits, it, it, it's this is stupid too. This is probably the last thing I'll leave you guys with is they show somebody in a back to tank. I had to rewind it twice to figure out who it was. And everybody on the internet is saying like, uh, who was that? Was that supposed to be uh, uh, Cobb Vanth? And he's with that rapper dude and he's going to get himself like all meddled up or whatever. I guess, to, like, Timothy Oliphant, I, I don't know, like, what, what what's going on here? Like, am I supposed to be excited about that? Are they going to have a show just on him? Like, I care about him sitting around in Freetown? Like, come on, that seems stupid. I mean, the one thing I was thinking, too, is Boba Fett's looking for reinforcements. Gee, wouldn't it have been interesting to have Gina Carano and her, and her Space Rangers come in and help and save the day? What a great way to set up their new series. Oh, wait, that was canceled because you don't like her. But instead, you're going to go with this Garbaggio. You couldn't even... It's not, If you didn't have enough for Boba Fett to do, don't make a Boba Fett show. Just make Mandalorian with the side pad. You could have cut out this entire Boba Fett thing and had the Mandalorian owe Boba Fett a debt and come and have like a two or three story arc that would have covered this entire thing. This entire thing would have been fine. But instead, we got this. I it's not it's not even crap. Like it's not even bad enough to be awful. It's just disappointing. Like why kill off this cool villain? Why, why, Robert Rodriguez? Why? What happened to you, man? You used to be cool. Like it's just like what's going on? Those stupid speeder gang kids. Like uh, the girl has the literally the smallest pistol ever like how is the, the main girl from the speeder gang group has the smallest pistol i've ever seen and they use it for a joke and uh, all of it terrible all of it none of the humor landed none of it it was the, the only thing that was cool was the ranker fighting stuff and that's about it and boba fett is literally riding a ranker and it's not even that imposing. He like falls off of it. Like, come on, man. And he's got a play. He could be shooting the, the robot while the ranker's like fighting it. And no, he just sits on top and falls off. And then ugh, all of it, all of it, all of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this rant. I hope it was, uh, it gives you some insight into this little guy's part two show you know Mandalorian season 2.5 because he was they were more important than all of Boba Fett and all of his actions and his lack of story arc if you like what we do here really appreciate it if you like and subscribe if we can get to 300 subscribers in the near future here uh we can also we're gonna have a very very special video where we do Russian fire bear roulette very scary 
Don't want to miss it. Also, check us out. We're also on Rumble. Hey, Rumble fans. Thanks for joining us there, too. Uh, we've been posting our videos there, and we've been getting some people to check them out. So thank you. We appreciate it. And um, be sure to catch. We have a full-length audio podcast that you can download anywhere for free. Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, all those good places. We love y'all. And uh, as far as me and my main man, Baby Yoda here, we are on to the next one.